If you want to win championships in esports, then keeping it simple in crucial situations is your likeliest path to success. This is absolutely perfect. He's got the perfect angle, except on the other side, and he goes down! Ladies and gentlemen, it's Team Liquid! But sometimes, you just want something a little sexier. An act that will turn heads, drop jaws, and send Twitch chat into an emergency state of poggers. And few plays in competitive gaming achieve this more consistently than the fabled no-scope. Kenny S stuck in the sight, finding more. That's brilliant, and Kenny S again up close. Oh my goodness, Kenny S! I think I'm gonna need to change my pants. Firing a scoped bolt-action rifle at someone without zooming in can be either an insane trick shot. Check this out, dude. That's it, that's it. Just two. <laughs> or a desperate high-risk play. Getting pins hit from both sides now. It's gonna be screen short and finish things off, but it's a what? nice go! And it's two of them to win the round as well. Liquid, six in a row, what a play! But before we talk about the dankest technique in gaming, we have to look back at the evolution of shooters. Games involving some form of scoped gunplay have been around since the NES. Although arcade titles like Silent Scope and peripherals like the SNES Super Scope allowed players to aim at targets through physical optics, scoped weapons were more of a novelty than a standardized gameplay mechanic. Most guns and shooters were just aimed from the hip, with no iron sights or scopes to be found. But in the late 90s and early 2000s, games like Medal of Honor, Jedi Knight, and Counter-Strike among many others began to introduce the scoped weapon views that we're familiar with today. Even though scopes finally had a functional use and were no longer just a weapon aesthetic, not all players were interested in using them. And while it's impossible to know when exactly no scoping was coined, the term became part of gamer discourse by the mid-2000s, strangely even finding its way into the occasional rap song. No scope, I get up close, my vision tunnel. But it was the Call of Duty and Halo franchises that took no scoping to the next level. With bolt-action rifles packing a serious punch in both series, players were drawn to using them at all ranges. And consequently, no scoping became a celebrated tradition. What do you get when you get real stressed? Clean the trigger and hope for the best. Call them a noob and hop the chest. I think you just got a no scope. Halo 2's sniper rifle in particular offered a generously accurate hipfire reticle, and as a result, it became an effective method of engagement regardless of target distance. But no scoping someone wasn't just a strategy. It was a statement, and in Call of Duty, this statement became dank. Unlike in Halo 2, Call of Duty's sniper rifles lacked useful hipfire reticles, so no scoped shots were far less likely to hit and ultimately more satisfying when they found their target. One of the pioneers of these hype no-scope reels was YouTuber Zergrizz, who became known for his Modern Warfare gameplay uploads. Grizz's take on trick shots, which he dubbed G-Shots, became influential enough that he had to release a video showing full-length gameplay to prove that the clips weren't staged. Before long, the no-scope was an essential component of the trick shot montage. Players wanted to see their peers hitting crazy shots, and content creators were willing to record and package that kind of gameplay into videos that drew millions of views. Sniper clans like Optic Gaming and FaZe became institutional pillars of Call of Duty thanks in part to this video format and how it helped them build their communities. These montages inspired players to push the envelope and capture the most outrageous frags. And if the highlights from FaZe ill cams weren't enough to make your head explode, their obnoxious soundtracks definitely would. This constant search for the ultimate unbelievable trick shot is how we ended up with ridiculous shit like the 360 no-scope. An absurdly over-the-top type of kill that emerged around 2008 and only grew in popularity during the golden age of MLG Call of Duty. It's essentially gaming's equivalent of the Vince Carter dunk, Tony Hawk's 900, or the mind-bending things they pull off in Dude Perfect videos. Yes! What? 
But as with everything else in life, people take their enjoyment of things too far. And some truly obsessed no-scope fanatics have gone to the extreme of attempting to pull them off in the real world. You see it? Oh my gosh. These days, the cult of trickshot has expanded beyond first-person shooters into battle royales, which have only elevated the bar for the art form. Trickshot only, trickshot only. Oh. oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Fortnite in particular has encouraged players' creativity by offering tools that allow them to challenge conceptions of what is considered possible in-game. What? <laughs> No oh, way. Oh, oh, my gosh. No, I didn't. No, I just did not hit that. Oh, my God. Wow. But in esports, where big cash prizes and titles are on the line, no scopes have become worshipped, legacy defining acts. Pros deploy them as a risky answer to desperate situations. Okay, tags up. One. He's gonna get. Oh! Or as ostentatious ways of flexing their dominance on the server. And Kenny first up the bat. He finds a shot, but he's being pressured up close. He needs shocks to support him. He's watching for a flank, but what? Oh my God! Kenny gets an incredible kill against Sixer. But no matter the reasoning behind no scopes, they're always hype. And this is it. Steel. He can't get it done. JW with the no scope. Oh. Tab the bomb once and Cold is coming around the boxes as well. Carrigan, he no oh, scopes him, no way! Well, that's not just you guys, Double smokes in the same place there. Simple just jumping casually into the side. He's gonna fall down again. Oh. Why is this trap from Simple? Are you serious? What is that? You can't do that, Simple. That's not allowed. But Simple, I, I don't know, man. If he just comes in with that, there's nothing. It was a no scope. It was a no scope. He had one button. There was no zoom. As one of the flashiest plays in gaming, the no scope isn't going anywhere. Because as long as there are scopes on guns, there are going to be people that refuse to use them for style points. Speaking of flashy plays, I can't believe we didn't show the cold Zera jumping off. Fortunately, we used it enough this year to hit our quota. What quota? You know, that quota. Dan, it has been three months since we put Faker vs. Ryu in a video. Seven since the Olaf boost. You need to get your shit together or so help me God your ass is going to be on the street. Welcome aboard. Here we are. What do you got there? You got some pizza, pizza. The, pizza yeah. to go, eh? Yeah. You know what? What's the script? Let me see. It's uh, no scopes. It's a lot of nonsense. Esports is just a lot of nonsense it's terms. But before we talk about the dankest technique in gaming, the dankest technique in gaming. And what's this next thing? Sound up, wrecked bitch, 420. Smoke weed every day. What is that? Oh, that's just like a clip. What's the 420 mean? What do you think? What's 420? Like oh, marijuana, like yeah. 420? You know Snoop Dogg? Gino Devon. SNES, I know what that means. Here we go. We're speaking to Gino's generation.